New at 5 o'clock, a virus plucked from sewage saved this San Diegan's life. He nearly died from a bacterial infection while on vacation. 10 News anchor Robert Santos got the scoop on what many local researchers are calling the medicine of the future. Tom and Stephanie are married professors at UC San Diego. They were on vacation in Egypt during the Thanksgiving holiday two years ago when Tom got sick. We thought I had food poisoning. It wasn't until Tom was medevac to Germany that it became clear just how serious this was. They discovered that I had a big pseudocyst, a large infection in my gut, and identified this bacterial infection that's rated as number one in the world. Doctors there treated Tom with antibiotics, but after no major improvements, he flew back to San Diego and was hospitalized at UCSD's Thornton Hospital just before Christmas. Again, antibiotics didn't help. Tom slipped into a coma for four months. I held his hand and I said, honey, I know that you're really tired, but um, if you want to keep fighting and you want me to, to kind of pursue some unconventional therapies, could you squeeze my hand? and he squeezed my hand, and I knew I would leave no stone unturned. Stephanie learned about bacterial phages. They're found in our bodies, and they get excreted out into the environment. Phages can attack bacteria. Stephanie learned of a patient who got cured of a superbug infection using phage therapy. It was Tom's only chance. We found phages that were derived from sewage that were purified and injected into him, and they saved his life. Within 48 hours, Tom, woke up. If there had been phages available from the start, we wouldn't have had to wait until I was on death's door. We think it's our, the reason we were put on the planet. They believe bacterial phages are the future of medicine. Robert Santos, 10 News.